Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Disney will not let Ms. Marvel fail. Nope. Uh, they have tried for years, years to have Ms. Marvel become the uh, face of the Marvel Universe. In fact, when they decided that they were going to bring her back uh, in the comic books, they're calling her the heart of of the Marvel Universe. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I just saw the press release for this. And now they're gonna push the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus show on ABC. Yeah, so I saw this. This is I wrote this article. I was like, this is to save the Marvel's movie. That's what this is all about. Yes. This is to save the Marvel's yep. movie. Yep, and uh, I think they're looking at the, uh, the tracking and they're like, oh my God, if Ant-Man 3 failed and Guardians was kind of lukewarm and all these other Marvel movies we have are not doing well. The Marvels is like dead in the water. Mm -hmm. We got to get people hyped for, for Ms. Marvel. So let's pull out all the stops. Let's put her on ABC. Right. So That's well, gonna work. the whole thing is so more people can see it because most people have access to ABC in some form. Yeah. Even if you have you know an antenna, you can get ABC. Well, that way everybody can see her. Everybody can watch her and love her. And then they'll come to the movie. Yeah, so what's that's not gonna it's happen? One gimmick after another with this character. My God, and we'll go down the history because they they've tried to push her in video games, they push her on cartoon shows. Uh, I joked yesterday on Twitter. I said, please, for the love of God, do not put her in X Men '97 because they're bringing her back as a mutant and she's joining the X Men. Well, she like, wouldn't have been alive in '97. It doesn't to matter. The it doesn't matter. But they can time travel. It's Disney. Now. They don't care. They don't care. Uh, they'll just bring her back anyway and say, yeah, well, this is a different version of Ms. Marvel. Um, well, they actually had a Ms. Marvel in the X-Men. She got knocked on her ass by Rogue, but that's... Yeah, I know. Thing. That's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. Let, let, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, so, you've been busy this morning writing about this situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me about it because I've, I've heard oh. some of it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this whole thing's about the Marvels. That's what this is about yeah. because they're trying to make her stick. And what's going on is they're going to air, there's six episodes of, of Ms. Marvel. Now, when it released, um, it had bad numbers. It had about a half of the lowest MCU show at the time of its release. Okay? Yeah. So you look here. Um, in its first five days, it was only at 775,000 households. The next lowest debut is Hawkeye, which is about twice as much at 1.5 million. And all the other shows have fallen in between 1.6 and 2.5 million for viewership. Did not do well. Now, yeah. a lot of people say it's a really good show. I couldn't get past the first 10 minutes because I found it cringy. Now, I think the, the actress that plays Miss Marvel is a sweetheart. Oh, I like I her. I think her. she's I think she's really cool. Yeah. I like yeah. her. I just didn't. The show was, it was like, because I knew she was like a Captain Marvel stand. And I cannot stand Brie Larson. I'm sorry. I cannot do it. She's, I just, I literally wouldn't buy a car because she's the spokesperson. <laughs> You're just true. a vindictive misogynist, I Geeky just Sparkles. I stand her. I think she's fake as fake as fake as can be i cannot stand fake people anyway um they're trying very hard because they're worried about the marvel so um it didn't do well and when it released on the um disney plus so now they're trying to put it on to abc so yeah. they're gonna put the first three episodes on saturday night august 5th 8 to 11 p.m and the second half will be a week later august 12th 8 to 11 p.m Really late though. And nobody's gonna watch this Saturday night on ABC. That's like the dead zone. Like well, that's no probably the only because they probably couldn't take the, the shows that perform and move them for this because you know <laughs> we can't take the shows that actually bring us ad revenue and and kick him out from his marble. But that's like, they used to joke that like, if you're put on like Saturdays or something, that was like the kiss of death. Well, they keep doing this with shows that are failing on Disney Plus. They've mm -hmm. done it with uh, other shows that were doing well. They put it on to like, you know, you know the Disney Channel. Freeform, or ABC. I think. Yeah, Freeform. So now they're putting this one on ABC because this one, ABC is one most people have access to in some form. Yeah, now it's it's weird though because just somewhat related, Bob Iger in that uh, uh, spiel he did the other day on CNBC said that he is considering selling ABC, mm -hmm. and he actually came from ABC. Like that was his. That's where he came from, and they've had Disney's thanks, had Bob. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Uh, Disney's had ABC for decades. I mean, going back to the '90s, they were yeah. doing cross promotion with all the sitcoms on on ABC, mm -hmm. like. You know, freaking Full House. Do you ever see the episode yes. where the fireworks can can spell out letters and they yes. can just hang in the sky? For, yeah, every every sitcom family on ABC yeah, went, so, and, and went the, to Disney. And then Disney. the one kid, guy that played the voice of Aladdin was on the float. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. So it was like blatant 
crossover, but you know, we used to watch the the uh, Magical World of Disney, Wonderful World of Disney, whatever they call it, with uh, Eisner was on ABC, mm-hmm. and that was you know, but Mr. Um, yeah, Mr. Boogie. Oh Mr. God, Boogity. Mr. Big- Boogie was good. Yeah, they need to. I'd say it's bring that part back. Of his that time, be. but I like Mr. Boogie. Anyway, they're talking. They might just sell the whole damn thing because it's not performing. The Disney yeah, Channel's shocker. Disney Channel's not performing either. Disney Channel. Oh, Disney Channel's bad. Disney Channel used to have millions and millions and millions of views. It was like the biggest thing for the teen audience like 10 years ago. And now they're like, oh yeah, we have about 150, 200,000 people that watch it regularly. That's a lot of people, their audience went to TikTok and stuff like that. But beyond yeah. that, when they have Disney Plus, of course it's going to cannibalize, yeah. you know, their other channels. So basically they're putting on ABC because their, their, their thought process likely is, well, it's paywalled on Disney Plus and that's why people didn't watch it because of the paywall for $7. And so let's just go put on ABC where more people can see it. And there, there, more people will see it, but that time period, will they even bother? Well, okay, if you really want it to reach the largest audience possible and you don't have the balls to do this, Bob, you drop all the episodes on YouTube I was going to say free. on YouTube, yeah. And then you see how many people actually watch it, but this failed with Star Wars. They started doing the Star Wars show or whatever, and you could see that not very many people mm-hmm. were watching these, these yeah. videos. Because, yeah, it has a number count of how many people mm-hmm. watch it. So, you know, so they're doing that. They're trying to, they're trying, I think, to make, I think this whole thing is about the Marvels film because the Marvels yeah. film is coming in November. And the problem is nobody gives a shit about the Marvels. And they already have bombs with, like you said, we already, for the tent poles, we, Man Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania to bad. Uh, Indiana Jones, not doing good. No. The best one they had so far is Guardians of the Galaxy. And it's and it's it's actually probably going to at least make them some money. And then you have Little Mermaid, which I, it's going to be lucky if it breaks even. So they have all these movies that aren't doing well. They need this one to stick. It's not looking good. I even went out to um, Google Trends, mm-hmm. which which you taught me to do. And yeah. taught other people to do, which they now use all the time. Yeah, now. which like is so weird. It. it was so um, weird because I, I was an SEO guy, a marketing guy for years, and that was something that I Yeah, did. now this person runs yes, it all the time, yes, but they thought of it. it. Anyway, they, they learned it for greatly. Neon. Um, so... I went and put uh, different things that are like movies and stuff that are coming out or have come out for comparison. And I put the Barbie movie in, and that's the blue line. I put Elemental in, and that's the red line because everybody's talking about how bad it was. And I put the Marvels in, and that's the yellow line. Barbie, you can see, is trending above the Marvels. Yeah. I mean, Elemental was, you know, flat until, you know, everybody started talking about how Disney's failing and tied, you know, Elementals into it. But you can see that the Marvels is the yellow line at the bottom. So if you go down and you're like, well, that's not a superhero movie. Well, I compare it to The Flash as well. And you can see the Barbie movie is the blue line in this one. The Marvels is the red line and The Flash is the yellow line. And it is still flatlined. Nobody gives a shit. I even put Ms. Marvel in because the comics keep doing gimmicks. It's still flatlining because nobody gives a shit about Ms. Marvel or the Marvels. And Disney knows it. Yeah, they will not let these characters fail. They will not let Ms. Marvel and Captain Marvel fail Organically, they have been organically. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they've been they've been trying to prop them up for years because I think they really truly think we're going to call it the Marvel Universe because of the Marvels. That's the end game. Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel, all the Marvels. It's going to be the Marvel Universe. So when they do the Her X-Men universe. movies eventually. Are they, is it going to be out Ms. Marvel? That's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I th- I think the long term plan for Ms. Marvel, since they made her a mutant in the show and they made her a mutant in the comic, and they have her join the X Men now, they're laying the groundwork. So when the X Men movie comes out, it's going to have her as basically the Kitty Pride or Rogue or Jubilee stand in right. character, and she's going to be the young the young X Men character that gets to meet all the you know whatever. I think that's the plan. I think they planned this since the beginning. I think they're like, when we do this X-Men movie, not only are we going to change a lot of the characters substantially, but we're going to we're gonna make her an X-Men and we're going to look at the X-Men through her eyes. But the problem is they've tried and tried and tried to make this character stick. In the comics, they've had to re- – how many times has it ended and restarted? Oh, my God. So many and, times. And then here's another time. They killed her and now they bring her back in another comic. And this time they're using the gimmick of, oh, the actress who plays her is going to be working on writing the comic. Yeah. They're trying every gimmick they can think of. They killed her off in a, The Amazing Spider-Man. They didn't even kill her off in a comic that was you know what made sense. Kill her off in the X-Men. You want her to be an X-Man? 
Kill her off in the X-Men. But hey, nobody gives a shit about the X-Men now. So. Right. So I'm just like, they, so they kill her off in a comic that people actually, you know, somewhat read. And now they're trying to use it as a, 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 a like a springboard into this new comic, which they're going to, oh, we're going to have the actress help write her. And she's got a new costume and all this other stuff. And she's the heart of the Marvel Universe. They keep trying every gimmick they can do. She's dead. Oh, now she's not just an inhuman. She's an inhuman and a mutant. <laughs> she is the world. They're going to they're gonna kill her off again and bring her back as a Jedi. You know, <laughs> no, no, she looks like Brie Larson. You know, her name is Marvin Jade. Um, no, this this whole thing is is just this, this one giant attempt at Disney to save this, and it's not going to work. Yeah, that, that makes it makes a, a a shift in their broadcasting strategy. I think this is also. I'll tell you the truth. I think this is also for financial reasons. I think they can split the cost of the show since it's obviously not making money. Can they now though? Because it came out last year. I don't know. They might be able to just say, "Hey, we." They can pay we, themselves. Yeah, to that's what. It. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. They'll I'm thinking pay themselves. They're gonna pay themselves, like. Oh. As, or is this because they're trying to like get the, as much money out of ABC back to Disney before they sell it? Because then they'll be like, "Look." Um, ABC paid Disney for the content use of Ms. Marvel. Then that gave more money back to Disney proper. So that Disney got the money out of ABC before they sell it off. That, that could be. I, I think there's I think there's something else going on here. I think it's, it's multifaceted. I think they are because they have been artificially trying to prop this character up for years. They made her a lead character in the Avengers game, which failed so catastrophically that Square Enix had to sell off the developer of the game. But they kept pushing her and pushing her and pushing mm-hmm. her. They push her in the cartoon. It. It, doesn't, it doesn't go. People just aren't. They don't want this character. No, I, like I said, again, the show, people have said the show is actually really good. Yeah, I've heard I, people I mean, say I'm it. I'm going to eventually try to watch it. I just cannot. The Captain Marvel, mm, cannot. Yeah. Um, But they said the show is actually pretty good. just wasn't given a chance. But that just tells you right there. People didn't like the character and they don't like Captain Marvel organically. Yeah, and that's the thing. It doesn't have anything to do Stop with her. Taco and go to the movie theater. They, they keep trying to make it out like, well, it's just the racism. I'm like, no, actually, if if you would take the uh, Captain Marvel bullshit out of the equation and stop forcing this character down people's throats. If you just they can go inter- over all of them, Ironheart and all the other ones too. They're not gonna. You, oh, Ironheart's gonna go over way worse. It's gonna go than, over like what's the lead fart. <laughs> her name's not Ironheart. <laughs> it's lead fart. That's her name. That's her new name. It's lead fart. Uh, yeah. So because people are like, wait, you're replacing you're replacing Tony Stark with this know it all little brat. You mm-hmm. know, like what the hell are you doing? Well, yeah, she's smarter, better, blacker. You know, <laughs> it has tits, so it's That's, all good. That could be the kit. That could actually be the the tag. Mm-hmm. Higher, further, faster, smarter, better, blacker tits. With tits, yeah. Yeah. With tits. Now with tits. If only Tony Stark. Had tits. Tony Stark had tits. He'd get nothing done because he'd be holding on to him all day. He would be. <laughs> he'd have a drink in one hand, <laughs> his nipple in the other, and he'd just be like going to town. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm right. Anyway, with big explosion in the background. <laughs> like, damn, I'm hot. All right. Uh, so yeah, guys. I, I mean, this is this is obviously just desperation. But I mean, when they bring her back and they're like, she's the heart of the Marvel universe. They will not, I, I don't, under, I've never seen anything like this. Marvel, 15 years ago, they would have been like, oh yeah, this character didn't work out very well, so we're just going to get rid of them. You know, mm-hmm. we're just, you know, they'll come in for occasional guest appearances. So many Marvel characters, so many diverse Marvel characters over the years that just didn't take off for whatever reason. And they just kind of got punted over to the sidekick lounge. And uh, you, you would see them occasionally or something, or they would try to bring them back in a different way. Not Ms. Marvel, not Captain Marvel. It doesn't matter how bad the books sell. We're going to keep bringing them back again and again and again and again and again until the Marvel Universe is because of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, But this is this is some desperation here, and I think this movie is going to bomb big time. Yeah, well, unless I do something between now and November 10th to like really bring it up, it's going to. Well, Dune comes out. Is it the week before or the week after? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a one big one before, one big one after. Yeah, it's completely fucked. It's like Carol Danvers is in between two big... To that embiggened crystal hand? No, just shove it up your ass. That's what it's going to be like. Yeah, the Marvels are going to take a pound in. All right, are we going to... They're going to get fisted by the, the rest of the industry. Are we going to wrap this up? Yes. All right, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.